many Johnny Cash vinyls would we have to buy for God to cut him down? Start with all the American recordings and then we'll go from there. Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros and I'm here to talk about game 60 of the regular season where the Astros lose 4-3 to to the Minnesota Twins and lose the series to the Minnesota Twins. And we are going to get to the Presley of it all in but a moment. Uh, the Astros actually led in this game. You had home runs from Carantini and Bregman, which were both pretty darn cool. Hunter Brown wasn't bad. I will give him that. Uh, six innings of three-run ball is pretty adequate. I have no complaints over Hunter Brown. Picked up seven strikeouts, which was pretty darn cool. Uh, the two home runs, I mean, it's Verlander light. What do you expect? Yeah, Brian Abreu come in and pick up a pair of strikeouts. Uh, Ryan Presley gives up the home run that gives the Twins the lead in the eighth inning. Montero comes in for a scoreless ninth with a strikeout. It's just a crapper of a game to end the series on. It's a close game. It's where a pitcher pretty low in the depth chart gives you a legitimate chance to win the game against a good team in the Twins. And they just can't. Here's the thing with Presley, and it hurts me to say it because I like Ryan Presley. And his closeout in the ninth inning of the World Series Game 6 is not far in the rearview mirror. Um, at least for right now. And that's the biggest thing. That's the most important thing I can stress when I talk about players. Uh, nothing is final. Like, nothing is final. Altuve was batting, like, 250 in 2020. And that might be a weird thing to bring up, but we were talking about, like, never seeing the good old Altuve again, and why is he even batting in the top half of the order? But then the playoffs came, and he remembered who he was. And then 2021 came, and he started to remember who he was. And then 2022 came, and it was the best season he's ever put together. And then 2023 came, and it was the best season he's ever put together. <clears throat> if you look at just WRC+. Nothing's final. Especially with a volatile position like relief pitching. Uh, you can have guys that are the best pitcher on the planet. They have the best fastball, the best spin best k per nine the best k to walk rate they're the best pitcher on planet earth for a season and the following season can't catch a cold in terms of an out it's very up and down it's a roller coaster and i'm not saying to cut presley or trade him or send him to the minors or bury him in single a what i'm saying is that for right now until he gets enough games under his belt that he starts to look like ryan presley of old you can't trot him out in high leverage situations right now. Taylor Scott's been a gem this season. And it's wild that I'm talking about him and being serious because I made all the jokes about that in the first game stream. Uh, he's right now a high leverage guy. If I'm the Astros, you put him there and spot a Presley Montero's slowly building himself back. He's looked good this season. Sub three ERA. Abreu's done the same thing. Hater's done the same thing. I think you're, Four big guys right now. Your four big horses out of the pen are Abreu, Hader, Montero, and Taylor. Which is crazy that that's the group right now. But that's who I see it as. And I'm not saying it's final for Ryan Presley. Maybe you put him in low leverage spots and he remembers how to pitch. Maybe you throw him out there in the fifth and sixths where you're up by seven or down by nine. And he just figures it out. And he starts killing it again. You revived Montero... You've done a single season revival of uh, Hater. I don't see why you couldn't do it with Ryan Presley. So I would just put him there in the low leverage spots and let him build up some of that confidence again. Because when Ryan Presley is confident, and I will say this to go to bat for him, you don't want to face him. Like, Ryan Presley was a terrifying pitcher very, very recently. He was a slam the door closed in your face pitcher very very recently he was a make the opponent opposing batter like shake walking up to the box pitcher very recently i do believe that that pitcher is still within ryan presley and i am willing to give him time to figure it out but you can't let him figure it out in high leverage situations because it's only going to hurt his confidence and it's only going to make fans more irritated at him i think the move right now is you got to put him in the low leverage spots let him get back to Presley, and then put him back in. And I harp on that a lot because this game, other than that, is just another loss. But I think what you have to take away from it is you need to revive Presley right now. You need to get him back on track this season. And honestly, more than that, or in addition to that, 
you've got to reward guys who've earned it. And Taylor Scott's earned it. He's pitched a really, really good season to this point. And I think he deserves high leverage situations. <sighs> it's unfortunate that you can't win the series against the Twins and make a statement against a playoff team following getting kind of your show run against the Mariners. But you at least salvage a game. And now you get ready for another little bit of a homestand as you take on the Cardinals. The first game is going to be tomorrow night at 8.10 Eastern. The Cardinals are going to send Kyle Gibson to the mound, and the Astros are going to send the original Hunter Brown, otherwise known as Justin Verlander, to the mound. I will be here afterwards to talk about it, but as for right now, that is all I have to say. If you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, Ghost Rose.